Hey everybody, Sven on the road. This is Bill's birthday ride. It, it, uh, you're in a public place. It's assumed that you will not have any problems. And uh, yeah, yeah, Sven on the road. Bill's birthday party ride, beer garden stop. We're going to uh, see what's going on on this ride. Nice uh, turnout for Bill's ride. Good friends, Ken, Jeffrey, Davey, Billy, and over here, Mikey. <laughs> Johnny, are you queer? Little beer stop here at uh, Lincoln Park. There's how Milwaukee gets all its information. Like your skinny fists raised like antennas to the sky or some such from Godspeed you black emperor uh, didn't this used to this used to be water right here Bill that used to be water didn't it before they took the dam out that was water right up to the top of this uh, right up to the top of this wall here took that damn dam out and we got a much lower river. Hey, um, Mini Max. He's not ankles, otherwise you're peeing back. Stop number one after the start is Bavarian Beer House. The clouds look threatening, but that is a past experience. Again, with the antennae. What's Ken doing over there? What are you doing over there, Ken? I'm trying to see my phone. A little early here at the beer garden, uh, 11 o'clock-ish. Uh, and actually, we're gonna have to go into the Bavarian Beer House since the park is not open on Saturday at 11 for some reason. There you go. That's all. Bavarian Beer House, Glendale, Wisconsin. In the old days, I used to come here a lot with my mom for brunches. It's become a full on brewery to actually make beer right here. There's some hours, don't know how accurate they are. And there we go. certainly big enough you can fit lots of people in here and they have an excellent patio and a really cool outside beer garden which unfortunately isn't open today the ubiquitous games of chance how most places stay open these days here in our fair state oh look at those guys bill and kenny Party on top of curve. Right. Well, you're Not today, Diane. Not today. Do it now! <laughs> Watch out for the runner! <laughs> I got you a badass stick on your helmet! This is the Milwaukee River at Estabrook Park. Right up the hill is the uh, Estabrook Park Beer Garden. They've taken out a lot of dams on the Milwaukee River lately, but this is an escarpment, I believe. I think that's a natural, that's a natural feature right there. Uh, it may have had a taller dam at one point though, because it looks like it's way easier to navigate than it used to be. Anyway, Milwaukee River. It's a nice trail down here. And then there's the steps up to Estabrook Beer Garden. I believe there's a lot less of them on the way down than there are on the way up. But there are these nice little resting areas like this one. You can get the panoramic view from on high. Although those trees didn't used to be there. Those are pretty fast growing trees. 
but uh, this, this was a good vantage point. Continuing on. I think these are circa 1930 whatever. Uh, this was part of the WPA or something of that ilk. Because nobody makes stuff like this anymore. There's no way they'd build something this awesome that lasted, you know, close to 100 years now. 90 years anyway. Uh, it has been reworked, obviously, in 2015. But still, the, the general idea of the place really hasn't changed. And here is what has become the Estabrook Beer Garden. This is a county, or was a county building, now leased out to, who knows, uh, Golden Mass people. Rules. Rules, Michael. Rules. Is this when I bring out my beer out of my backpack because I don't want to deal with the rules? Yeah. <laughs> Is that one of the rules? I think so. Uh, <laughs> no carry-ins? Uh, you know what? It's outside. It's county park. They can go fuck themselves is what I like to say about that little notion right there. They're supposed to give a percentage of their profits to the county park system. For as much business as I see happening here, I'm saying that their county's getting 40% to 50% of what they should. Oh, hi, Kenny. Say happy birthday to Bill. Happy birthday, happy birthday Bill. Happy birthday, Bill. Hey, happy birthday to you. Well, here's and my to thing. you, Greg. In your ear. Uh, not till next week, though. But it's in the well, box. It's in the time. Why is this last Tuesday? Yes. Right on. I got gotcha. you. So yours is next Thursday. Uh, uh, yes, you are correct, sir. Oh, so we have done, and you know, because she was like, I know Greg. Cheers. Happy birthday. He was cool. Also, we thanks for that really long stop in the air conditioning and the awesomeness, because, and I availed myself of the bathroom twice, which is badass. I went at least three times. Like, I'm not going to the bathroom here, because I went there. I walked over. I thought I had a turret poking out. I like the, you could hear the, you could hear the waterfall over there. That's not helping. It was a turtle actually taking a leak in my butt, spinning out through my butt. Lose? No, not quite. <laughs> but that could have been Did a you possible. Scrub your pig? I... We're yeah, boy. All right, Hubbard Park Beer Garden. All right, stop number two. No, no, this is not Hubbard. This is Astorbrook Park Beer Garden. Astorbrook Park Beer Garden. There you go. Definitely a good stop. It's up a little bit because of the river, and there's usually a breeze up here. And there you go. Hi. Bye. Right off the bike path here, this is still Bill's birthday ride. I believe this might be the last official stop. I'm not sure about anything else, but uh, this is the Hubbard Park Beer Garden, right above the Milwaukee River, and obviously just off the bike path, which makes it super handy. Uh, these buildings have been here forever. Again, I think this is the 30s stuff you're looking at here. And they have a little beer garden can buy your beer over here. They don't make beer here, but they do sell beer here. Thus sleep. And it's a big outside area. One of the cool things about the place though is that uh, you, can, you can drive here, but it's way easier to walk here or ride your bike here. There's the rest of the people still on the ride. Bikes, uh, bikes. Uh, don't go too close to the bike path with your cancer sticks. <laughs> More bikers arriving. Not on our group, though. Anyway, it's a nice place. Certainly worth a stop if you're rolling by. Hubbard Park. Banks of the Milwaukee River. It's actually down there. Uh, but we're up on the top of the bluff. And this is the Hubbard Park Lodge, which actually has a really good uh, brunch on Sundays normally. So this is in Shorewood, just east, right by the river. And uh, there they go, which is awesome because this is a cool building. Bye-bye, flowers. 
So the old lodge, again, this building is from the 30s likely, and uh, it has been maintained well. It's been pretty active throughout the time it's been around. Private parties, weddings, brunch on Sundays, hopefully. And uh, my buddy Matt used to be a caretaker and he lived in the back. It was super awesome, especially at night when it was cool out. But uh, yeah, there you go, Hubbard Park Lodge. All right, everyone. Had to say goodbye to the Bill crew. Uh, good birthday ride back at the shop here. Omnium Mini Max waiting for the elevator. Easier than carrying it up the stairs to the second floor. But yeah, it was an awesome ride. Good time. Thanks, Bill, for organizing that. And it's been on the road. See you soon. All right, back upstairs. Not sure why that's not a little clearer, but uh, here's what we got. Obviously not going anywhere. Distance 25.8 since the last charge. Uh, 93 miles total. But here's the range. Still with that 25 miles in and a mixture of usage. We still have 67 miles estimated on Eco. Oh, infinitely long on no. Trail 33, boost 22. So even on the boost mode, there's still a lot of range left on there. Very cool. Spin out.